burst into the tank is someone who's created a flavour that he believes is irresistible to sharks. Hi Sharks, my name is Kettle and I'm the founder of Delishu. I'm here to seek $300,000 for 25% equity in my company. I recently introduced a unique and amazing spice mix to Australia. I invented bacon seasoning and it makes anything taste like bacon. Pasta, burgers, popcorn, roasted veggies, green beans, and even steak. And just when you thought it couldn't be good enough, it is even low in calories, low fat, low sodium, and vegetarian. People are going nuts for my seasoning. Customers are purchasing repeat orders, restaurants are using it in their food, and retailers are selling out. Since I started this business less than one year ago, I have generated more than $60,000 in sales. But what's even more exciting is that almost half of that revenue was created this month. But what I've learned from my customers is that there is a need in the market for more exciting seasonings. So with an investment from you, I will expand my range of products and provide people all around the world with the most exciting cooking experiences they have ever had. So Sharks, if you want to join me in revolutionizing the seasoning industry, and make everything taste delicious. <laughs> Kettle, thank you very much. So 300,000 for 25 percent, valuing the business at 1.2 million. Yeah. That's a pretty interesting valuation for $60,000 worth of sales. No doubt you'll convince us. Give it a try. You have a bacon-flavored popcorn in front of you. So before I eat it, Kettle, I just want to confirm, is it gluten-free? There might be traces of gluten. Is it nut-free? Uh, there might be traces of nuts. Is there dairy free? Uh, no, it contains dairy. Okay, is it vegan, paleo, or organic? Uh, no. Okay, I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Got chippy fingers. <laughs> While we're talking about the product, how do you get stuff that tastes like bacon without using bacon? So if you think about bacon, it's really just a smoky, savoury meat. And all of those flavours can be replicated through vegetables and uh, smoke flavour. Well, it says suitable for vegetarians here. Yeah. So you're going to have to support that with, with science. That's good. Kettle, it's an unusual name and you have an accent. Tell us about your background. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm uh, originally from uh, Norway, actually. From Norway? Yeah. Hey, I can snack a little north. Yeah, yeah. do come there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 So whereabouts in Norway? Um, I'm from the southern parts, Christian Sand. Is Christian the Sand, yeah, the town. yeah, great. Yeah. What brought you to Australia? So I decided to move to Melbourne, started a, a master's degree in business there, but honestly, I spent too much time watching Shark Tank uh, <laughs> when I should have been to lectures. Yeah. Um, that, and it has inspired me so much to start my next business. Oh, great. Well, we've achieved something then. That's good. <laughs> you just said you did $30,000 in the last month of sales, is that correct? Yes, yeah, about uh, $29,000. So let's go through the dynamics and the economics. Uh, one bottle costs $20 if you buy it uh, individually. More than 90% of my sales are selling a four pack. So if you buy a four pack, you get it for $39.95 and I pay for shipping. Total costs after shipping from me to the customer is about $14.76. 15 bucks on, on a 40 buck sale. Yeah, $39.95. Kettle, you said earlier on that you, uh, you enjoyed watching the Shark Tank TV show. Um, something makes me think you didn't, didn't comprehend with you, mate. You've actually come with a very impossible ask to fund. Because of the, the 300,000 bucks is what you need, right? You've asked for 25%. percent pretty sure it's $1.2 million valuation, right? It can't be done. 300,000 bucks, what would you value this business at? Yeah, so I value it at 1.2 million. Oh, I know what you value it at, but if you sit in my chair here, we can swap yeah. if you want and you can give it a go. Do you want to sit in here? And I'll pitch you a business doing 60,000 bucks and see what you say. Come on. Yeah. Come on, get down there. Okay. <laughs> 
kettle. I've got this great business for you, mate. Bacon flavoured sprinkles make anything taste like bacon. 60,000 bucks worth of sales in the last six months. I reckon it's worth 1.25 million. What do you think? Oh, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> See? You're in. You have uh, repeat customers. Half your revenue was created this month. You have scalability. Well, okay, so how about, how, about, how about this? How about this? <laughs> He's been roasted. Sorry, thanks for coming. He's been thanks roasted. for coming, Steve. <laughs> thanks for coming, Steve. You're out. <laughs> You're out. Roasted. Good, well, well, done, good, well, well, well done, Kettle. That was well done, mate. Good response. Good See? Well done. You called his bluff. bloody ridiculous One day I'll be here. So, Kettle, here's your 30-second pitch to justify that huge valuation, 1.2 million. Let's go for it. I have generated 30, almost $30,000 of revenue through only Facebook ads. We still have multiple channels that we haven't activated yet. You've got about 10 seconds left. I'd start talking numbers. We are estimating to have at least $600,000 this year without an investment. $5.8 million next financial year without an investment. But if I can get $300,000, I'll do more than $25 million next financial year. 25 mil? Bullshit. Be careful. Don't, don't throw numbers out like that when, you, when it's actually just really fanciful. When you're talking to investors, you lose all credibility because there's not a hope in hell that you'll be able to achieve what you're talking about achieving in that time frame. Is this product your creation? You've got the recipe, is it? Yeah, so well, the final recipe is with my contract manufacturer. Right, so they own the final recipe for this product. So you don't own the IP on this one? Uh, no. And one of the reasons why I'm here today is not to focus so much on this particular bacon seasoning. It's more about all the new flavors that sorry, we can create. Sorry, sorry, that's a really Ooh, important question. Red, red light, red light. You are tied to a manufacturer because he owns the IP. Yep. If he wants to double the price of the product because you've become really successful and you've done a great job, then you can't take that product away from him and give it to another manufacturer to create, correct? Uh, I don't have access to recipes, I couldn't do that. That's correct. You don't own your IP, your supplier has you by the balls. They're bacon flavoured balls, though, so it's not too bad. So... <laughs> I'm out. Mate, I think that the IP issues that we're hearing about here, which is exceptionally real, and the fact you threw a red flag at us and said, well, that's OK, I've got other products, tells me how bad that issue is. You've been to business school. You actually know that this is an impossible business valuation. I cannot fund 300,000 bucks on any percentage in this business. I love it. I'm going to enjoy it. Thank you very much. I'm out. An awesome pitch. Okay, thank you so much for your feedback. Your valuation is smoking hot. Way too hot for me, I can tell you. And unfortunately, I've got to burn you. I'm out. Thank you for your feedback. Appreciate it. Thank you. Cattle, congratulations on what you've done. I don't think this is going to be your thing. You will find your thing, and I look forward to seeing it. Thank for you. For this deal, I'm out. Thank you. So then there was one. Kettle, you are one cool Norwegian dude. Um, I'm going to make you an offer. Oh. But it's subject to a couple of conditions. So the first condition is that you and I are going to sit down with your contract manufacturer and we're going to own the IP. Because the horse hasn't bolted yet. The second thing, I need to be sure that this is suitable for vegetarian ingredients and that this will be eligible to work under that heading in the US market. Because I see a big market for this, pizza chains, fast food chains, and a whole bunch of other companies that want the bacon taste without the bacon ingredients. That, I think, is a big market. 
$300,000, I'm going to take a big risk. 45%. Oh, bite his hand off. You yeah, grab that. You, 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 hand you off. need me to bail you out of this hole. Mate, you only get someone along every now and again. I thought he was yeah. going to take 90%, so I think for No, you can, have, you can have control, but it's subject to those two things. He's having a geriatric moment. Let him go. Then we get to the US market. Get him before he wakes up. Take yeah. him, take him <laughs> dream state. Thank you so much for the offer. I'm really honoured. It's hard for me to go from 25% to 45%. In business, I've learned that you have to set limits uh, at, at some point. Um, Mate, bite his hand off. Kettle from Norway has developed a bacon seasoning that he says will make him and his investors a stack of money. But when they found out Kettle didn't own the recipe, the sharks dropped out. You don't own your IP, your supplier has you by the balls. Only Andrew could see enough potential to make an offer. $300,000. 45%. Oh, bite his hand off. You yeah, grab that and bite money. his hand off. But now it's Kettle who's balking. In business, I've learned that you have to set limits uh, at, at some point. So would you be able to come down? OK, I'll come down, 44%. Kettle, seriously, bite his hand grab off. Quick, grab before his he hand changes off. his mind. That take 20 seconds to think. Sure. Okay, we have a deal. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go and get him. Hey, uh -huh. Good to see you. Awesome. Nice. That is a very smart decision. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And to be fair, he gave you better advice than the rest of us. Let's see go back you. and renegotiate. Yeah. That's That's yeah. Well done, Kettle. Oh, thank you so much. You are a lucky bastard. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, I completely misread that. I thought we were all going out. <laughs>